The Greek temple sitting beside Moody Street is something for tourists to behold. The story of this exhibit involves this building. Jim McCann was a very public figure, a feisty Irishman born in County Kerry. Jim McCann's career as an artist received an incredible boost when he was commissioned by Mrs. Henrietta King to execute a number of paintings for the legendary King Ranch. It isn't known who made the contact that resulted in the commission to paint portraits of Mr. and Mrs. McFadden and their son, Al, but he arrived in Victoria where he met the cattle baron's daughter. Blessed with a cheery disposition, a wasp waist, and a love of art, Emmy caught his eye and captured his heart. They fell in love and were married on December 9, 1897. Sadly, the marriage ended in May of 1916. Though McCann continued to live in Victoria, he spent much of his time in the Texas Hill Country painting away. He was captivated by the beauty of the land at the headwaters of the Guadalupe River, and that's easy to understand. In the back gallery, you will see the portraits of the McFadden family, along with McCann's self-portrait. A year after her divorce from McCann, Emmy married First Lieutenant Royston Knave and began the grandest days of her life. Royston and Emmy lived two years in New York City, where he painted many of the portraits in the permanent collection of the Knave Museum, as well as many of the portraits seen here for the first time. Perhaps it was the lure of their native Texas that brought them home. He was asked how he could give up the fame he had experienced in New York. He replied, what is fame? In this exhibit, you will surely find something for everyone. In a way, this exhibit is a precursor to Art on the Hoof, scheduled to open August 12th. It's going to be a great exhibit.